So you want to know, first of all, uh, this is an explanatory video of some things that I said about D. Roy Cruz running for president. You want to know who my vice president is? I was going to pick a white man that is out there that everybody knows in the public guide that's been a good spokesman for Donald Trump and all like that, but I don't think he would really, really, really be having my back like this brother would. And this brother, you know, he has stood for me by side by side over the years that we did security together. This guy's name is Richard Jackson. He's a big guy, you know. He kind of guy that will tackle. He'll tackle a dude and knock him to the floor in a heated discussion. I'd hate to see him get angry, but I've been able to keep his temper under control. Um, he has taught me more, so much about being a stand-up conservative or Republican, I should say. Um, he has done a fantastic job over the years at you know, and every time when I think I'm standing alone, here comes Rich, you know, to pull me out. So if Rich, I've been thinking about him and praying for him. So if Rich uh, is up to it, as long as he don't cop out in the last minute, when he finds out that I was asked to uh, compete for president, He's going to be, he's going to, he's already, he's going to be like, hey man, can I be your vice president? You know, so, you know, Rich Jackson, that's the guy that's going to do it. Rich Jackson's my man. He's going, he, he, he's not only, you know, got really, really, really good conservative views for the White House, but he ain't going to let nobody mess with me. That big brother will knock you out, okay? Okay, people, when people come up to Rich and they start talking that dumb Democratic stuff and talking about, you know, trying to get loud with Rich, Rich goes and gets a brick. What? What would you say to me? Okay, yeah, go, go, yeah, go on. Yeah, go ahead and try it. Go ahead. I dare you. You want to slap me? Try to slap me. Go ahead. See what happens. That's what I like about Rich. Rich. Rich is big enough. He can talk like that. Rich is big enough. He can get up in your face like that. Okay? You know, if, if Donald Trump don't win, he sees Rich as my vice president, he's going to laugh. I think, I think Rich is the man. I think I need to pick Rich. Because Rich is crazy. We need a conservative like Rich. In office that not only will will over talk you in an argument, but it'll kick your butt while he's doing it. Okay, that's what we need. We need a person like Rich. Rich will choke you. He'll just ah, <laughs> my man Rich. That's what I need. I need you know ain't gonna be no people picking on Trump supporters with Rich in office. Woo! Rich walk out of there before security can catch up to you. Rich will be out there choking you. Okay. Picking you up by your head and throwing you across the lawn, man. I'm telling you, we need Rich. Rich don't play. Because, you know, the vice president don't get to do as much talking as he should. And when Rich talks, he can talk. He can talk all night. He'll go off. You talk about run-on sentences and you talk about taking things from, you know, jumping from one topic to another in fast time. Oh, Rich is that person. He'll get everything he wants to say out of the system in two sentences. I'm telling you, the dude is good. Okay. We got to have Rich Jackson for vice president of the United States. Yes. That's my man. I was going to go higher and, 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 you know, make Donald Trump proud by, you know, if he doesn't win, that is, you know, by putting some of the people that he wanted to be in office. But now I started putting my stepson in there, but, 
I think he he's a little intimidated by uh, Democrats. He doesn't. He you know he he's been a Democrat so long, like me, in the past that. He's afraid of what Democrats will do to him if he, he's a big dude too. He's almost as big as rich, but and he ain't afraid of nobody either, but he is afraid of Democrats, you know. Uh, that's the last thing you need to be afraid of, son. I'm trying to win office here. We don't need to be afraid of these Democrats. We, we, we kick these Democrats in the butt, okay. But, but that's the first thing I want to say is about Rich. Rich Jackson is his name. Jackson. That's my boy. If he can't do it, nobody can do it. Rich Jackson is going to help me, you know, make this office work, make my time in office work. Two ways. Two ways. Okay? He is. He really is. This video is brought to you by conservatives still iron clothes. They still iron their own clothes. Okay? Thank you very much. <sighs> um, you also want to know, I assume, you also want to know. Who, uh, what, oh, I know the big question everybody has is this. I know the big question everybody has. The big, 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 big question. Oh. And I'll tell you what the big question is. Your big question, I know what your big question is. Your big question is... What are these laws that you have for the LGBTQ? First rule of thumb is the LGBTQ people will stay in their lane. Gay people will um, not only be moved, you know, the LGBTQ, the whole six letters, will not only be moved to California and Las Vegas, but they will, even in Las Vegas, they will stay in their lane. Um, there will be no more sexualizing of our children. Gayism is not a thing that is taught. It is a thing that is given therapy to. Okay? You don't get to tell our kids what being gay is all about and how to be gay. Okay, um, our kids, if they choose to be gay, they can go get therapy. Um, they can they can get on a, you know, the United States will pay for their fare and their hotel stay to go get therapy down in California. Um, you know, um. Did I tell you we're moving all the abortion clinics down to uh, California too? We don't want them up. We can't have everything, the same everything in every state. We just can't have that. That's one of the problems we're having in America now. Years ago, it used to be different. You had to go travel to certain states to get an abortion. You had to go to certain states to, you know, for gay marriage or you had to leave the country for gay marriage or whatever. We need to get back to that. Um... We, the United States is the United States while I'm in office. Each state doesn't get to do their own thing. Okay, now if you want to be more liberal in your state or something like that, that's fine. But as far as going as far as your liberty to activate, you know, the LGBTQ movement, okay, keep that to California. Keep that down that part of the world, okay? And the reason why I sent them to California is because 
the Bible has been banned in California. They are working right now, as I speak, on a process to eliminate the Bible and its manuscripts. Okay, so um, there will be, let me tell you what moving the LGBTQ community um, does for America um, in California and Vegas. They will be the center of liberation will be in California, will be the center of liberation. And that's where the atheists and um, all the LGBTQ people and, um, you know, uh, Black Lives Matter and, you know, all of you will assemble in California um, and you will make California your place. The only thing you won't be allowed to do is when people come from the north, when people come from the more conservative states to visit your city, whether they come down there, you know, for gay sex or whether they come down there for, uh, you know, to practice law or uh, whatever, um, you will not be allowed to touch them. You will not be allowed to... Uh, to, to rape these people, like back in the Bible, you will not be allowed to convert with these people anything about sexuality. Um, you will be arrested immediately if you go near any of my straight people. Okay, um, we're not having that. Um, let them come down there, and if they're trying to defend you in court, let them do their job. If they're trying to get you rights or whatever, let them do their job. Do not touch them or try to insinuate anything sexual to these people, you will be arrested. Okay, that's what I mean when I say there will be law for LGBTQ people. LGBTQ people will have to stay in their lane. And there's another law for LGBTQ people. If pregnancy is involved, okay, if pregnancy is involved, um, we will deal with that pregnancy in all 50 states just like it was a heterosexual pregnancy. You don't get to skip paying child support just because you're a transgender woman. You don't get to um, lie to the media and say that you got pregnant when you didn't. Okay? You don't get to, you know, guys lying and saying they got pregnant. That's not going to happen. Okay? You don't get to do that. Yeah, you don't get to do that. Also, um, we will build in, you will build in the state of California, um, you will build um, your uh, place of, uh, what was it going to be? Oh, um, there will be a special sports arena. In California and Las Vegas, mainly Las Vegas because Las Vegas has more land um, and less housing than California. So we will build the big sports capital. It'll be a big place for y'all and we will support you guys. We will be the, the big sports. It'll take up acres of land, probably, you know, a couple thousand, you know, or more acres of land. This is where you will build transgender sports at because we are going to take it one step at a time and get back to biological men sporting against biological men and biological women sporting against biological women and I understand how you people feel you want to be classified as women when you're not really women okay but you feel like women so you think you feel like women you don't know what a woman feels like you've never been one but you think you feel like a woman, so we're going to play that game with you. But you will practice sports with another trans person like yourself. Trans, transgender women will not compete with biological women. Unless a biological woman says that she wants to compete against you. And it will be something like a tennis game or something like that. Now, a biological woman can compete 
against a transgender person, a transgender woman, not a, not a trans, you know, a transgender woman, if the biological woman um, decides with the trans person that that's what they want to do. Now, as far as MMA and wrestling, no. Okay, nobody, no two opposite sex people don't get to roll on the floor like that. Yet. No. But sports like tennis and handball, racquetball, you know, um, maybe running and jumping. Um, I think a woman might have a chance to beat a trans person to high jump or something like that. Um, sports that involve fighting um, and, you know, um, you know, martial arts and stuff like that. No. But sports that involve uh, running and jumping and maybe tennis and stuff like that, where if the woman does get hurt, the biological woman that is, it's not a big deal. You know, she got hurt because she tried to compete too far against her, you know, but you're not going to beat up on a uh, a biological woman. You're not going to get on top of a biological woman. You're not going to choke a biological woman. That's not going to happen. So those kind of sports will go back to their natural place where they've been. Um, but if a biological woman wants to go to California and train to, to compete against trans a trans woman in trans sports, it will be a special case. Everyone will know that it's a biological woman going up against a trans person. The ball was in your court. She has chosen this butt whooping. If that's what happens. Okay. She may do that. Okay. And if she wins though, let me warn you, if she beats a trans woman, which is really a biological male, at any sport, she will be paid double and she will be given double the trophy. So you might want to think about that um, before you uh, do that. Um, and it's the same thing with trans men. Um, they will compete against other trans men. They will not compete against uh, biological men, again, unless it is something like maybe tennis or, uh, you know, um, you know, basketball or something of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Um, but as far as sports that involve hitting each other, choking each other, you know, martial arts of any kind or anything like that, no, it's not going to happen. You know, a biological male is not going to beat a transgender male into that, into that, you know, uh, hot sauce like that. He's not going to do that. Um, we're not going to let it happen. But if a train, if a biological man comes down to California and trains with, because you allowed him to do it, you allowed him to invade your sports arena and come down here and train and compete against a trans man. If a biological male goes down and wants to compete against a trans man and you want to do this because you don't have enough people on your team or whatever, he will win double the money and double the reward because he is a biological male reigning on your turf. And you allow this. So you will pay him double the money for his sportsmanship. And he will get double the reward and it will go up in history as the transgender as the biological male training against um, the trans, okay? Now, I know that this will also go vice versa, and yes, I will allow that to go there, but first, we want to put women's sports back to where they were and men's sports back to where they were um, before we make that decision. Now, once we have everything back to normal, 
then we can decide that trans men can also come back to this part of the United States here in the north and compete against biologicals if if the biologicals are begging for these people to come train because they don't have enough people or whatever and again just like the biologicals so the trans if a trans person comes and wins against um, you know the biologicals because we have you know um, you have endorsed this and we endorsed this with you okay then if he or she wins they will win the biggest prize as a trans person that came and was honored to do it with biologicals okay he she will uh, be given that special reward now miss brown i think is her last name is brown um we have taken we will take we will close down women's swimming um, until we get women swimming back to where it is. This brown person, I think her last name is Brown, I'd have to look her up, the swimmer that went and beat all those swimmers, okay? Um, if she, she is the only, the last and the only trans woman who won swimming with biological women. She got a trophy and everything and she can keep it but if i'm put in office i will change all that swimming will be another one of those sports because of what miss brown has done to the biological swimming teams um the, the sport of women swimming she will this will no longer be available trans people will not um especially in um 48 states of America, trans women will not compete in swimming against women, against biological women. No more of that. The country is in an uproar because this happened. So um, that'll be the first thing we do. These are the laws that are for the trans people just like there will be laws for homeless people there will be laws for those that smoke marijuana um the thing that we have on in, in this country is that everybody thinks they're equal and they're not a person who needs to smoke marijuana and a person who doesn't need to be a person who needs to smoke marijuana for his depression or to be happy or his sickness or his pain or whatever and a person that's going through the same things that doesn't Okay, they're not equal. They're not equal. There's no equality there. Okay? Um, so, no. Um, people who want to smoke marijuana um, will have new special laws for people that smoke marijuana. And my point is to get them to stop smoking marijuana and to get marijuana out of, out of our cities and to let it stop being the number one drug sold. If we can, if we can pull that punch, then um, we can make the world a better place. Um, and uh, I think that's it for now. I have some more, but I just want you to understand what those rules are for the transgender and gay community. Um, like I said, if there's children involved, there's special laws. Okay. Um, if a gay couple has a child, okay, um, and you're not going to lie and say you got pregnant with the child, um, but we will not do artificial, what is it, artificial insemination or whatever. That's out the window. Um, we will not um, allow um, gay people who claim that they're married sleep with someone straight in order to get pregnant that's not a marriage that's 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 just putting more sin on top of the sin of being gay itself that's fornication on top of the sin of homosexuality no you won't do that um, there's no more of that if you by chance agree with a female 
and a female signs papers because she lives. Gay people will have to have children. Gay men will have children by lesbian women. And the only place they will be able to do this is in the states of California and Nevada. Okay? They won't be able to do this anywhere else. But straight people will not be involved in homosexual sexual activities, even pregnancy. Okay? Um, people from up here in the other 48 states that want to um, get an abortion. They will have to go down to get a passport and go down to the LGBTQ T Q S and something else place uh, to get these abortions because we will not allow them in 48 states. They will be banned in 48 states. Okay. if an earthquake hits uh, the state of California, let us know so we can send more homosexuals down there. Um, and if we have homosexuals here in, the, in this part of the U.S. Um, that want to go down there and help their people, um, yes, they will go down there and, and, and send relief and our military will send relief. Please don't put your hands on their body and try to feel on their body. Um, they will send relief and um, uh, you name it um, for the you know the relief of the earthquake victim and and all like that. But please don't let us know because in the other forty eight states it will not be posted on the news that there was an earthquake in California. We will act like it didn't happen. Um, but if we find people that are LGBTQ and they want to go down there and help, then we will put it on the news. Oh, you know, we just found out there was an earthquake in California. Wow, big surprise. Like, when did this happen? Okay. And, um, we will send, uh, the people that have been wanting to live in California, the gays that want to, been, that want to be living in California. California and they weren't qualified or whatever, we will send them down there to relief. They will pay their rent and board by going down there and sending relief to the people. Um, but we don't want no crying. We don't want these LGBTQ people crying about anything. You're not allowed to cry. You're not allowed to get upset. You're not allowed to go on a tantrum. Also, pronouns. Pronouns will only, here's another law for the LGBTQs. Pronouns will only be utilized in those two states. Outside those states, don't expect anyone to respect any pronoun, any pronouns. Okay? And we will only call you, especially in the other 48 states, we will call you out by what you look like. If you look like a female, okay, if you if you if you want to be called something in a female fashion, if you want to be called a they or a non-binary or, or or whatever, you at least have to wear that dress. Okay? And if you're gonna and if you're gonna look like a woman and think that somebody has to have a special pronoun for you because you're dressed up like a woman, okay, well then you really, really have to really look good in your outfit. Almost fooling those that are not supportive of it. You really have to be good in that outfit. Or we will not honor your 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 desire for pronouns. Um, you'll be free to uh, teach these pronouns to the world in your colleges and so forth and so on. Okay, but when transgenders leave California and Nevada. And come to the other 58 states. They will not only be on their best behavior, but we will always know that they're coming. Like I said, everybody's going to be involved in the registry. So we'll know you're coming and we'll warn the whole 48 states that you're coming, that you're that you're that you're on the campus, and we will be cautioning our schools and our children 
and you name it, that you are coming and um, making sure that security is alerted um, because we've given you the whole state of California, which is the biggest state, and we've given you Nevada also. Okay, we have to go down there and see men, ugly men in ugly dresses in order to, you know, um, try to cash our million. We gave you this power. So, you know, don't, don't misuse it. Because if you abuse California and Nevada and the residents that choose to stay there in that and support you, okay, we will not support you. Okay? So you're all together in that one area like that. You don't want to ruin your stay. You don't want to ruin your power, okay, in your office because it can be easily shot down and destroyed in a day if you screw this up. So we're giving you a break and we're being really good and tender with you. Um, don't ruin this, LGBTQ. Um, one more thing that I didn't say, I'll say this in the next video. The churches will be back. There'll be an office for the churches in the White House. Not only will, will there be church representatives and evangelicals in the White House, but there will be members of the Christian Coalition and members of the um, World Church. Um, inside the White House, uh, minus Catholicism. Okay, um, we're not talking about the Pope. Um, the Pope is not invited to the White House. The Pope will be giving a simple salute. He's invited. Well, I take that back. The Pope is invited to come and see what we're doing, but he's not invited to any ceremonies. No one's going to kiss his hand, his ring. No one's going to bow down before him or anything like that. Pope will come, and I will nod my head and say, hello, sir. And that's it. And I will say it in English. Okay? Not Italian. Okay, so, these are just more things that I'm going to be talking about in the upcoming video plan. You must hear me real good. That um, if I become president, things are going to go back to normal. For the better. And that is what I mean when I say make America great again. I am going to finish Donald Trump's campaign to make America great again. We're going to finish the wall. Okay. Um, and we're going to make America great again by taking everybody back to their original place. Okay. We're not concerned about equality. Um, in the United States if I become president. Equality will be a very small word. The word is unity. We will be unified. Um, in unity, people can be better than other people. In unity, people can be unequal, but we're still unified because we all, we all give heed to our specific offices and services and our positions. Okay? Um, and that's the way it will be. Okay. Another thing that I will do that I need to talk about in the next video is that when people come here from other countries, they're either here from another country, they're e either legal citizens or they're not. So if somebody comes here from another country and they um, want to be a legal citizen, Okay, they will be given, they will spend uh, a year, you know, they will pick their flexible hours and they will spend a year going to a school where they will um, learn English and they will learn what American culture is all about and they will... Um, they will learn street smarts and how to handle and respond to Americans and so forth and so on like that. They will learn how to get along with other immigrants. They will learn to respect white people as well as black people. 
um, and, and, and those that have been in this country for like ever, and they will learn. And after a year of being, um, you know, of this transitioning, transitioning doesn't belong to the LGBTQ people. Transitioning belongs to the people that come over here from other countries. And reparations will not be for black people, and neither will it be for uh, immigrants. Reparations will be for homeless people, whether whatever race they are. Reparations will be for people that have nothing. They have no job, no family, nothing. Those are what reparations will be for homeless people in mainly. Okay, but you're not going to get reparations because you're low income or because you're black, or because you're an immigrant, or because, you know, you think that somebody should give you reparations. Um, if white people don't need reparations, nobody needs reparations, okay? Um, until white people start receiving reparations, neither will blacks, okay? Um, scratch that. I mean, just stop talking about it. It's not going to happen. But I will thank you very much for mentioning it, because I will give reparations for the people that have nothing at all, namely the homeless people, okay, so they can have another chance at life. That's what reparations are for, okay? Um, the people coming here seeking asylum and all like that, they will have a year. No more will we just give you a license, okay, and write it out for you and all like that and make you a legal citizen. No, a legal citizen won't cost a lot of money anymore. Instead of, instead of the, our government um, charging these people all this money to be legal citizens, what our government will do is put these people in a school for a year where, they're learn, where they will learn to be legal citizens. And then when they get out, you'll see why I created these schools and these teachers and these um, people to to do this work will understand why I did it. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. I am D. Roy Cruz. I am the Life Applications Officer. And uh, I will see you again with more with a new one. Thank you for watching.